हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप बेहरे साइंटिस्ट डेयरी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डिवीजन नेशनल डेयरी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट करनाल हरियाणा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ फूड बाय फ्रीजिंग अंडर द पेपर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंड प्रिजर्वेशन नाउ लेट अस कम टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल लाइफलाइजेशन एंड फ्रीज ड्राइंग आर टर्म्स दैट आर यूज टू इंटरचेंजेबली by freeze drying a product unstable in water is transformed into a dry stable product the basic idea of freeze drying is to lock in the composition and structure of the material by drying it without applying the heat necessary for the evaporation process instead the freeze drying processes convert solid water that is ice directly into water vapor skipping the liquid phase entirely different freeze drying is an excellent method for preserving a wide variety of heat sensitive materials such as proteins microbes pharmaceutical tissues and plasma there are many of the proteins are pharmaceutical compound which cannot be heat preserved or heat sterilized because they will lose their activity so freeze drying is the best method now let us go uh, back to the history the first organ tissue were freeze dried in 1890 and in 1932 a vacuum freeze drying plant was built but only after 1940 it became an industrial process with the freeze drying of blood plasma and penicillin we all know that penicillin which is an antibiotic which is widely used for uh, veterinary uses and other uh, uh, fields freeze drying applications in the food industry started after the second world war and many important developments took place in the 1950s and 1960s several processes and products have been developed since that up to now it is the most important technique to dry coffee enzymes food ingredients and other high value foods freeze drying products for space missions and activities are some examples of the products developed with this technology thinking in high quality and long storage life foods in addition with the increasing concern about the food quality this process could be considered as a valuable alternative to preserve uh, foods now friends let us come to us the learning objective of this module in this module the objective is to study food biotechnology to study role of biotechnology in foods to study various biotechnological methods to identify or diagnose potentially important microorganisms to study the application of biotechnology in milk food and dairy products uh, now the sublimation the fundamental principle in freeze drying is the sublimation sublimation is the process where the solid material changes directly to a vapor without first going through a liquid phase that means in this case uh, the moisture the moisture is removed uh, with the, without the help of uh, dry heat or something sublimation occurs when the vapor pressure and the temperature of ice surface are below those of the triple point that is 4.58 mm hg at 0 degree celsius so as shown in the pressure temperature phase diagram of the pure water uh, like evaporation sublimation occurs when a molecule gain enough energy to break free uh, from the molecules around it water will sublime from a solid that is ice to a gas that means vapor when the molecules have enough energy to break free but the conditions are not right for a liquid to form sublimation is a phase change and heat energy must be added to the frozen product for it to occur in the sublimation sublimation in the freeze drying process can be described simply as freeze that is the product is completely frozen usually in a vial flask or tray so in the glass material mainly the sublimation is taken place vacuum the product is then placed 
under a deep vacuum will be the triple point of water dry heat energy is then added to the product causing the ice to sublime next the freeze drying process freeze drying that is a lyophilization is a drying process in which the solvent it is usually water and or the suspension medium is crystallized at a low temperature and thereafter sublimated from the solids stay directly into the vapor phase the freeze drying process usually falls into three stages freezing the primary drying stage and the secondary drying stage as indicated in the figure within the within the three stages the process comprises five primary operations that is freezing sublimation desorption vacuum pumping and vapor condensation in brief typically lipolization process proceeds as follows the sample is contained in a vial which is placed on a cool temperature control shelf within the lipolyzer the first stage freezing involves a quick sample temperature decrease below triple point of water in order to avoid the appearance of crystals which could deteriorate or damage the material therefore the self temperature is reduced and the sample is frozen to a uniform set temperature at this point the pressure in the lipolyzer is reduced to a set pressure to initiate primary drying during the primary drying water vapor is progressively removed from the frozen mass by sublimation while the self temperature is controlled at a constant low temperature during this stage which represent longest part of the full process almost the 95% of the frozen water is sublimated under vacuum conditions at temperature that should be below those of the glass transition of the product as the sublimation progresses a moving interface between the frozen and the dried zone is created at the end of the primary drying the shelf temperature is raised so that water fissures or free absorbs to the semi dried mass can be removed finally in the so called secondary drying the water bound bounded to the porous matrix is disassorbed by increasing temperature the stress steps required to lipolyze a product in a batch process can be summarized as follows pre treatment or formulation loading or container that is bulk flask or vial so we can uh, freeze dry sample in a bulk form flask small quantities or in the very small quantities freezing that is thermal treatment at atmospheric pressure primary drying sublimation under vacuum secondary drying desorption under vacuum backfill and stoppering for product in vials under partial vacuum removal of dried product from the freeze dryer the various process variables affect the efficiency of the freeze drying process the product temperature is determinant factor for both the productivity and the product quality this is due to that sublimation is generally faster at higher temperature but drying at excessive temperature results in a loss of the pore structure which is defined as the collapse phenomenon and might result in rejection of the batch for amorphous formulations the collapse is usually associated with the glass transitions temperature of the maximally freeze concentrated phase the appropriate shelf temperature and the chamber pressure conditions are frequently established empirically in a trial and error experimental way the definition of a systematic procedure to optimally determine them is one of the scopes of recent research on freeze drying so now students uh, let us see the methods of freeze drying so there are several methods we can say vacuum freeze drying deep freeze drying natural freeze drying so out of this let us discuss about the vacuum freeze drying vacuum freeze drying is the process for drying frozen materials by sublimation at low pressure that is high vacuum and at temperature below the freezing point possibly a less confusing term to describe vacuum freeze drying is the 
single word lipolization many a time we use lipolization both terms are used interchangeably in a vacuum freeze dry system the pump has the capacity to cool a vacuum of 4 mm hg and less at temperature below 0 degree celsius where the water as a solid for example ice can under certain conditions of pressure and temperature converts to water as a vapor this the process is known as a sublimation uh, in the deep freeze drying deep freeze drying requires only a freezer it is non vacuum process which has been described by several names simple freeze drying ambient freeze drying cold spray drying cold storage drying non vacuum drying the deep freeze methods dries a solid by dehydration the same laws of physics that go on sublimation apply here also the process is quite familiar to those who have placed unwrapped food in the freezer compartment of the domestic refrigerator over a period of time the food becomes dehydrated it froze acquired a vapor pressure higher than the point of coldest temperature that is freezing unit its water vapor molecules were drawn to the freezer unit and trapped there deep freeze as a method of drying is relatively well known and has been used by the number of conservators in the past however the techniques has not caught on perhaps because of the time required to dehydrate the frozen material is more coming to the natural freeze drying natural freeze drying is mentioned briefly as a matter of interest and to avoid confusion with the other methods in use for drying it is technique for a specific purpose and is limited to those parts of the world where winter climate prevails at a temperature below freezing that means this is applicable only in the certain countries not throughout the world it is also known as the exterior freeze drying as in case in which water lodged wood is freeze dried without the need of vacuum chamber example during the canadian winter the water saturated air from the frozen object is removed by the help of the low temperature the daily hours of sunshine which offset the latent heat of sublimation and the wind conditions a tent like housing with the polyethylene walls protects the objects undergoing treatment from undesired exterior conditions conceivably frozen documents and books could be dried under the same conditions as waterlogged wood the process would be quite slow but it would still be a form of natural freeze drying uh, coming to the freeze drying equipment so there are uh, various uh, parts of the equipment uh, freeze drying equipment that we need to look the main components include refrigeration system vacuum system control system product chamber or manifold condenser Coming to the refrigeration system, refrigeration system it cools the condenser located inside the freeze dryer. The refrigeration systems can also be employed to cool shelves in the product product chamber for the freezing of the product. In the next part, vacuum system, which consists of a separate vacuum pump connected to an airtight condenser and attached product chamber. In the control systems, control system it can uh, vary in complexity and usually include temperature and pressure sensing ability. Advanced controllers will allow the programming of a complete freeze drying process and will include options to monitor how the freeze drying process is progressing. Choosing a control system for the freeze dryer depend on the application and use that is lab versus production product chamber it is a, a typically either a manifold with the attached plus or a larger chamber with a system of shelves on which the product is placed so these are the typical parts of the freeze drying system 
Next part is the condenser. Condenser is used to attract the vapor being sublimed of, of the product because the condenser is maintained at a lower energy level relative to the product. The vapor condense and turn back into solid form that is ice in the condenser. The sublimated ice accumulates in the condenser and is manually removed at the end of the freeze drying cycle that we can say defrost step. The condenser temperature required is dictated by the freezing point and collapse temperature of the product. The refrigeration system must be able to maintain the temperature of the condenser substantially below the temperature of the product. Uh, coming to the types of freeze dryer, freeze dryers can be informally classified by the type of the product chamber. The one manifold dryers where the product is typically pre-frozen in a flask. Second, self dryers where the product is placed in a tray or directly on a shelf. Third, combination units with the both drying operation. Freeze dryers can also be grouped by size and use. One, first one, laboratory bench top units for research and development that is R&D. Second, pilot units for process development and scale up. Third, larger production size units. So it should be noted that in addition to process scale up work, pilot size freeze dryers are often used for the product R&D as well as small volume production application. Coming to the uh, various types of uh, freeze dryer as shown in this picture, there are mainly two types of freeze dryer if you consider a commercial batch freeze, uh, freeze dryer and commercial continuous freeze dryer. There are many more types other types are also available which we can list as a typical manifold dryer, shelf freeze dryer, combination lab freeze dryer, bench top freeze dryer, pilot freeze dryer, production freeze dryer. At the bottom so there are we can see one one type of example as, as I have told is a example of commercial batch freeze dryer and another on the right hand side the example of commercial continuous freeze dryer. So here in this case in the batch freezer only a limited amount of uh, product can be freeze dry whereas in the commercial uh, continuous process the product can be continuously freeze dry without uh, affecting the uh, product quality. In another uh, case in the shelf freeze dryers the condenser can be located uh, inside the product chamber internal condenser or in a separate chamber external condenser connected to the product chamber by a vapor port. Manifold freeze, dry freeze dryers rely on ambient condition to provide the heat of sublimation to the product. This heat input does not melt the product because an equivalent amount of heat is removed by vaporization of the solvent. Advanced shelf freeze dryers can provide a heat source to control or expedite the drying process and they can also employ the repression system to allow the freezing of the product inside the unit. It is very important to choose a particular type of freeze dryer which will again depend on the various factors. Choosing a freeze dryer depends on the product characteristics as well as many other application based variables including the container that the product will be dried in, the shelf area or number of ports required to accommodate the quantity to be dried in each batch the total volumes of ice to be condensed and whether there are any organic solvents. The types and shape of product being dried and its end use also need to be considered. So in general, so we have to use the freeze dryer depending on the type of uh, product or nature of the product uh, or the also including the composition and most importantly the physical nature of the product. So now let us come to the advantages of the freeze drying methods. So there are numerous advantages when we freeze dry any food system, any food material, any microbial cells. So let us stop one by one. The 
main advantages of freeze drying is the sample stability of room temperature, the easy reconstitution by the addition of water. That means once we freeze dry the product and then if you want to reconstitute it, that product get easily reconstituted into the water, which is the important one. The defined porous product structure, the reduction in weight, as you know that when we do freeze drying, the moisture will be uh, removed, taken out and as a result, we will get the reduction in the weight of the food material or product and the possibility of easy sterile handling. At the same time, the freeze drying also provides an uh, sterile handling because we have lesser amount of sample or food product. Second advantage of freeze drying is the removing water. Removing water keeps food from spoilage for a long period of time because once there is no water or no moisture, there is a less chance of microbial attack. As we know that most of the foods are spoiled because of the moisture content and the foods which are lesser in moisture content will have a more shelf life. Freeze drying significantly reduces the total weight of the food. Another advantage of the freeze drying is the retention of morphological, biochemical and immunological properties. The main important aspect of any drying method is the preservation of native structure of the food. So that the freeze drying will maintain the basic nature of the food it will not affect the morphological and other attributes. So freeze drying also gives high viability activity levels, lower temperature and shear conditions compared with the other drying methods. That is why freeze drying is, is most of the time it is preferred. High recovery of volatiles, retention of structure, surface area and stichometric ratios, high yields, long shelf life and reduced weight for storage, shipping and handling. Now let us talk about the limitation of the freeze drying. Apart from some of the advantages, there are certain limitations of the freeze drying. Most expensive operations for the manufacturing a, a dehydrated product owing to high energy consumption and high cost of both operation and maintenance. Freeze drying takes requires little bit higher cost because it operates at lower temperature and it requires more energy. The main disadvantages of this process derives from the slow drying rate and working condition close to vacuum pressures which makes freeze drying a very expensive process in terms of time, energy and therefore economic cost. The final one, the freeze drying, uh, re this results in a limited use of this technique in the food industry and mainly restricts it to dehydration of only high value added products. Coming to the application and uses of freeze drying, today the field of its applications ranges for, uh, from relatively simple preservable food over complex biotechnological or, or pharmaceutical products to pro proliferating bacteria and fungi. Although today great variety of foods, pharmaceuticals etc. are produced by lipolization, a successful application for long term preservation of living systems like example cells is still one of the greatest challenge for the scientists in this field. Freeze drying is one of the methods of choice for preservation of starter culture. DVS cultures are also produced. So let me explain what are the starter cultures. Starter cultures are the good bacteria which are being used to produce various types of fermented milk product. What are the fermented milk product? These are nothing but the our dahi, yogurt, srikhand, lassi. So in this case, the starter culture or bacterial culture which are being used to manufacture this kind of fermented milks, these cultures are being preserved uh, or stored for longer time by using freeze drying. The shelf life or we can say the how long we can utilize this culture. So if we freeze dry the culture, the shelf life of the culture, bacterial culture, starter cultures will be more than one year at uh, low temperature. So that means we can uh, by using freeze drying we can not only extend the shelf life but also uh, save the cost of the uh, particular product because this will not spoil. Coming to the uses uh, pharmaceutical and biotechnology freeze drying was developed to preserve bioactive molecules DNA 
enzymes and proteins pharmaceutical products like antibiotics and other delicate solvent impregnated materials it is a widely used process for dehydration and improving the stability of various pharmaceutical products including viruses vaccines proteins peptides or colloidal carriers like liposomes nanoparticles nano emulsions the pharmaceutical companies often use freeze drying to increase the shelf life of product such as vaccines and other injectables by removing the water from the materials and sealing the materials in a vial the materials can be easily stored shipped and later reconstituted to its original form for injection freeze drying has become standard processing techniques in the bio industry sector where it enables stable products of high quality to be manufactured it has become one of the most important processes for the preservation of heat sensitive biological material because most of the time as you know that drying can also uh, increase uh, the shelf life of the food materials or the cells or even we can preserve the the material by drying but there are certain materials which are heat sensitive that means if we are drying by heat their activity will be destroyed or even that molecule may be destroyed so due to this reason we have to uh, go for the uh, low temperature uh, techniques so continuous innovations and process optimizations have increasingly led to more and more new applications of this process on an industrial scale one of the major use of the freeze drying process is in the food industry freeze drying is used to preserve food and make it very lightweight if we preserve the food by freeze drying it not only uh, uh, increase the shelf life but also it preserve the naturalness of the uh, product the process has been popularized in the forms of freeze dried ice cream an example of astronaut food the other food products where freeze drying apl applies are coffee tea crispy fruits and vegetables ingredients for ready to eat foods and some aromatic herbs so there are number of products which are perishable in nature for example milk and milk products they are perishable in nature and without uh, using any uh, method their shelf life cannot be extended but if we go for low freezing low uh, low temperature one of the finest example is the ice cream so ice cream we have to keep at low temperature not only to uh, prevent its the body and texture but also to control the contaminating organisms or the food poisoning organism these there are certain organism which can cause diseases to the human being if uh, given sufficient uh, favorable conditions so that is why it is uh, freeze drying has greater role in the food industry because without freezing uh, freezing of the food their value cannot be improved in technological industry especially in chemical synthesis products are often freeze dried to make them more stable or easier to dissolve in water for subsequent use in bio separations freeze drying can be used also as a late stage purification procedure because it can effectively remove solvents furthermore it is capable of concentrating substances with a low molecular weight that are too small to be removed by filtration membrane so freeze drying technique can also be used where there is less chances of uh, other methods where that cannot be used to purify or uh, concentrate the certain molecules other uses includes that is in addition to food products freeze drying is also suitable 
for other goods including flowers, microorganisms, pharmaceuticals, medical devices and cosmetics, especially chemicals and pigments, enzymes and ceramic powders. There are certain organizations such as uh, Document Conservation Laboratory at the US, National Archives and Record Administration have done studies on freeze drying as a recovery method of water damaged books and documents. In bacteriology, freeze drying is used to conserve special strengths. The application of freeze drawings are numerous but is generally employed when the requirements demand. For example, preservation of temperature sensitive products, particularly those of biological origin such as enzymes, blood plasma, vaccines, etc. It means freeze drying is used to preserve enzymes, blood plasma and vaccine to achieve a chemical balance such as for a biological reagents. To provide practical solutions for certain delivery problems, for example, the packaging of constituents that cannot be mixed in the liquid state but which are solidified in successive stages and then freeze dried. Freeze drying also used to implement an important stages of product such as concentration to improve storage life and improved marketing of the end product to resolve certain filling problems. It may be difficult for instance to divide several milligrams of powder into precise vial doses due to difficulty of measuring tiny amounts, homogeneity, granulation, static electricity etc. The distribution of the product from the liquid state eliminates such a production problem. Finally, product temperature, sensitivity and its relation to taste. Dear students, after going all, I hope you have understood the freeze drying methods and processes. Now let us summarize this uh, module. Freeze drying is a specific drying method that means it is very effective for certain foods whereas for some foods freeze drying is not preferred due to the several uh, disadvantages of the method especially which involves cost. In addition to the food products it is suitable for other goods. Freeze drying is mostly preferred to preserve a microbial cells which gives higher shelf life. Freeze dried materials needs to be stored in a hermetic package. Otherwise there will be more chances for moisture absorption and subsequently the freeze dried product may spoil. The freeze drying processes is still expensive which restricts its application on wide range in the food industry. At the last the new technical solutions needs to be applied. Thank you.